Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. So here we are again at the dollhouse. Um, I did just wanted to give you a little bit of input on um, the history of the dollhouse for people that didn't see my autumn craft update when I first bought it. Here are the pictures of what the dollhouse looked when I purchased it. I bought it on eBay. Um, for £15, so it was very reasonable um, price, um, and it is obviously second-hand. Um, I put it in the garden and painted it up, stripped out all the carpet and everything, um, and then set about um, decorating it to my own liking. So I bought lots of supplies from the pound shop, lots of um, sticky plastic and tiles, and then printed off wallpaper and sort of filled it all in. And then I did my first series of videos, which you hopefully have watched um, on my YouTube channel here, where I showed each room um, being decorated. So it's a year later um, and I am redoing all of the rooms. If you have been watching, you've seen that I have moved the bedrooms upstairs um, and I've moved the living room up to the first floor. Um, and now I'm currently renovating the bathroom and then on the lower floor I will have a kitchen and an office although it may become another room at some point I don't know but I think I'm going to stick with office for now. The dollhouse was very cheap um, a great bargain and I really love the size of the rooms and everything so I am really enjoying doing it up. Um, it isn't perfect it's kind of um, I don't know whether somebody's made it themselves out of a cupboard or something um, but it's very rough and ready in places, you know, the floors aren't even and the walls aren't perfect. And the f But the thing is, I suppose it's like a real house because, you know, not in, not in older houses, the floors aren't level. So I kind of have that to battle with. Um, so I've been trying my best, uh, especially with this bathroom renovation, to make it really slick um, and perfect. But obviously that does take a lot of time and effort. So it has took me a long time, but I've managed to get the video ready for you today. So I hope you appreciate that. Remember, please like and subscribe um, and also leave me a comment. So I'd love to hear what you think and how you get on with your um, dollhouse renovations. So in the end, uh, with the skirty board, I bought some um, moulding from um, a DIY store and I got some dowel. Um, so I had to measure, cut it to fit, um, paint it. Um, I u actually used the um, the wood paint I used in my own bathroom, so keeping it real. Um, so that's all, managed to get that all in. That took a lot of sanding and cutting and effort. Um, and then the shower, I've um, just got a piece of cardboard there, as you can see. Covered it with some paper, put a little pretend plug hole on and uh, popped that in. Let's have a look inside and see what I've managed to get done. So I'll start here with the blind. I took off the old um, material blind that I made and then just got a piece of white card um, and then concertina folded it um, and then put a hole, well, put a pin through the whole thing and then threaded through some white elastic. And then here I've got my little pulley, a little bead, um, it's a button actually, so it's attached on the bottom, then two little beads there um, to hold that together. And I'm just so impressed with how um, modern and chic that looks. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to change all the other curtains because they're all a little bit... I just use what material I had and I think they look a little bit old-fashioned. So I'm going to go with some blinds and some um, more streamlined curtains. So see that coming up soon. So pop my light on. Um, I have showed you this last time, so I wrapped the light with some Buffalo Check um, jute, which I think looks really nice because, as you can see, I've got a black and white theme. I've got the wallpaper um, that I downloaded off the internet. There's my lovely skirting board, as I say, with some moulding, wooden mouldings that I've cut and painted and some wooden dowel um, that I just happened to have, so I already had that, um, and then the flooring. So I used the um, old floor from my previous bathroom as the backsplash there in the shower and they used the old um, unit that I had. And then I got a picture frame, that, uh, sorry, a glass out of a picture frame that I bought for 10p from the car boot, cut up some black um, tape and sort of laid it on so it looks like panelling. And then I used my black vinyl um, to stick around the bottom, 
so it looks like a, a lovely shower screen and then I use the black tape to stick it onto the side so it's attached um, I'm really pleased with how the shower has turned out I think it looks great and then I got that printable and the little plug plug hole printable as well um, which just makes it look a little bit more realistic um, so I'm, I'm, saying I'm just really pleased with how the shower has turned out um, and then I've got um, a picture I think I've had that I think I might have had that in one of my other rooms so it's just a piece of poster board with a nice picture stuck on top so it looks like a frame uh, there I have a shelf um, that I've, it's part of the molding that's the same as the skirting I've kept it wood colored um, so it looks a little bit different I've got my please seat yourself sign and then I've got this mirror it's just a compact um, compact mirror and I've just wrapped some of that black tape around it so it all sort of fits in together with the scheme of the black and white um, with a, a little bit of grey and um, so I've got a plant I have showed that before it's basically just a lid off a bottle um, put a bit of um, sponge in there and then stuck those little pieces of plant that have come off a little fake plant that I had I just snipped a bit off put that in that looks pretty cool and then I've got this little jar I got from the works um, so I thought that well that can be some bath salts or some toiletries that can go up there and then I've made this little bench here for in the shower area again using the molding it also matches the shelf um, up there so it all ties together then I've got these little silver drawing pins which I thought brought um, together the idea of the silver black white grey theme rather than completely wooden so I thought well, that would I don't know whether to paint it actually I did think shall I paint it but I thought I've kept it wood for now we'll see what happens so that's in the little shower area there so you could sit on it you know wipe your feet and all that sort of thing when you've had your shower but you can also keep your toiletries on there so I've got another two of those jars from the works which are just perfect size for a dollhouse bathroom or kitchen and then I'll just bring it out a bit closer so you can see also because everything's so small I keep knocking stuff off um, so I've just put it on easier here I've got some uh, felt here some white felt and I'm just rolling it up um, so it looks like towels I'm just going to put them on the bench there because obviously when you're having a shower it's nice and close to hand I have had a thought about maybe making um, a silver or a white towel rail you know like a heated towel rail to put on the wall but I haven't done that yet so I'm not sure whether to do that or not and then this is just a glue lid again with another little bit of greenery snipped off a plant um, popped in and then I thought well that can just go there on the end for a bit of decor so that's the bench and again see now I seem to have so much room with this new layout that that can fit there beautifully um, and not take up any room so the toilet I've showed you this before it's a little plant pot with a cut out um, poster board lid and then a tic tac uh, back piece with a little sequin on top to flush the toilet I'm just going to put that there under the sign and again just this rejig on the layout just makes everything feel so much roomier so here's my new vanity um, again I've used the floor the old floor tile um, which ties in with the backsplash on the shower so that those two things tie in with each other and then I've covered it with the black vinyl which also ties in with the shower and then I've made a little toilet roll holder there uh, it's basically just a, dr not a drawing pin um, a paper clip and then I've just folded it into a shape and then just stuck a hole in the side of that unit there so it can sit in and then I've just got a little toilet roll that I've just used real toilet roll just rolled it around a straw and added that on there I think that looks great um, and again doesn't take up much room it's on the side of the unit so that's going to be really useful uh, placement when somebody is using the toilet and then the other side I've got a towel and then used again another one of those silver drawing pins and then that matches up with the feet on the bench over there so it's all tying in together beautifully
So that fits there great. And again, there's so much room. I think actually the other one I made originally was a lot bigger. Um, here's a little shot here so you can see what it looks like for the toilet. Um, and as I say, I think that looks absolutely perfect. Really pleased with that. And as I say, also there's so much more room now. So here's my hand soap. I'm really pleased with this. This was a little bottle that I bought on eBay. I got a little job lot of bottles when I was looking for things for my drinks trolley, but I think it doesn't really look like, I don't really need it. So I thought actually it looks like a hand soap. So I've wrapped a piece of um, washi tape around it. And then on top, those are just some little things I use for quilling. Um, so they were just coiled up paper and I've shoved the one on top and the other one on top of that. I think it looks like a dispenser. So I'm really pleased with that. So that's my soap dispenser. And here's my sink. I'd have kept the original sink that I made originally, although I have added the plug hole to it, which I, th I think makes it look a bit more realistic. So that's a lid off a, uh, a moisturiser, I think it was, with a couple of um, buttons and some foil wrapped around into the uh, top of the sink. I'm going to keep my box of Kleenex as well at the side of the sink. And then I think I'm also going to add one of those little jars from the works. And this time I have um, refilled it. So I've, I've just got some tissue paper and rolled them up into balls. So that's now my uh, cotton balls jar. Which I think looks great. And the, the round black mirror there looks fabulous. Um, and it's really looking like a, a very modern bathroom. So just a couple of finishing touches now. Um, I've got my rug, which I showed you last time, my double-sided rug. So that's going to go there. So that's in front of the toilet and the sink. And then I've got this, again, another lid, um, which I'm going to store my spare toilet rolls in. I was going to make a basket and wrap it with the jute from the light. But I'm thinking, well, I've got a little bit of a silver element. So I think I might just leave it as it is for now. Again, it's something that could be changed in the future, but I'm pretty happy with that. And then here I've got a lid off a of makeup and it's going to be a pedestal and then another lid with some greenery put in the top. So there's a nice little, another little plant uh, to put by the door. So I hope you agree that that looks absolutely fantastic. Um, now there is still a little bit of room here. So there is a possibility that I could make something else to go there. Um, now, this is something I already had. It was actually used in my living room for a TV unit. I'm just looking at sizing, really. So something could go there, that size. There is room for that. I'm thinking maybe um, I could try and make a bath um, is a possibility. So the could, I could put a bath in there, whether I can make a shape on. And here's another unit that I had, and I, I think I moved it to the office. So I could uh, even use that or something similar to have like a, a towel um, area. So I could, I could fold up towels and put them on there um, and other toiletries and things, and then even put some decor things on top. So that's a possibility. And again, it fits in there brilliantly, and, and there's still plenty of room in the bathroom. So I am thinking that I could do that. But obviously, please, you know, let me know what you think. Um, and I shall I shall reveal it when I do perhaps the whole house tour. So for now, I'm going to leave it and think about it. What could go there? Um, if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. So have a look around by yourself, uh, as always, and let me know what you think about my new bathroom renovation.
thanks very much for watching um as always please um consider subscribing if you haven't already um like and leave me a comment as i always enjoy responding to what people have put and ideas that they have um i hope you enjoyed looking around my dollhouse bathroom today um and i will see you soon for another video so until next week take care bye bye